My name is Joe Ng, and uh, I'm the executive chef in Wet Farm and Decoy Restaurant. My background cooking comes from Hong Kong. I never go to culinary school. I grew up in the kitchen. I started to cook at 11, 12 years old. I was cooking street food at the beginning. Then we, I'm working in the restaurant after a couple of years. Most American people know about Peking duck. So we decide why don't we try the Peking duck and do a different way from the traditional way. Then we try the testing created more sauce, different vegetable. I do our own pancake and we try butchering the duck a different way. Me and my partner try to have the creativity for the food, for the praying, or for the ingredient as well. When we do the preparation with the duck, at the beginning we wash the duck. We try to get the skin as clean as possible, otherwise it will turn very dark or burn. We use the duck which is about six and a half to seven pounds. That kind of size is really good for barbecue. The muscle and the meat, they're very balanced. We put all the fried spicy flavor in there, salt, ginger sky in, and then we use a special nail to close the bottom. It's very important where they come from with the head on because we are pumping the air in their neck, trying to separate the skin between the skin and the meat. And then we put in the boiling water to get the muscle tight. We put sugar vinegar on the top of the duck, which is helping the skin they not crack. That's why they come out golden brown, because the sugar and the vinegar. We are heading about 24 hours uh, to make sure the skin getting dry. And more dry that we could get, the more crispy that we get in the result. We turn off the oven to 450 degrees. We cook that for 15 minutes and slow down the temperature around 350 and then about another 30 minutes. At the last 10 minutes is very important because they are licking all the fat from the top to the bottom. We have a pan underneath that is all duck fat there. I mean, in general, like people have probably like two to three wrap per person, you know, for each duck. Here we have a three to four sauces. But the traditional way is only like hoisin. That's it. What about use the sesame peanut sauce? We could have a cranberry. I would like them to try different flavor so they don't feel bored, you know, just a different kind of taste in each wrap. 20, 30 years ago, people know more about American Chinese food, which is takeout restaurant. The really traditional Chinese food, which is what we ate at home. It's not going to buy from the takeout restaurant. If all the Chinese people eating at home, traditional Chinese food, why they don't serve in the restaurant? So that's why we try to create a different menu for the new version of a Chinese food.